hi guys in this video i'll be telling you how to install miui dark power a customized miui rom so the prerequisites are you need to be an, you need to be on an unlocked bootloader you need to have twrp installed and you should, you should stay on miui you have to remove your mi account you have to remove all your google accounts and then you have to remove your password and security once all of them are done you need to be having these two files in your internal storage which is the MIUI dark power rom zip and the twrp file once you have all of them uh, we can reboot into twrp by clicking on reboot and keep on pressing the power up button so well once the recovery has booted we can head into wipe advanced wipe select to dalvik card and swipe to wipe then go back go to install and then click on MIUI dark power rom zip and then swipe to install so once the rom is installed check for errors and ignore the fail to monitor us and we can go back Go to advanced and click on install recovery ram disk and then click on twrp image and then swipe to install now once your recovery has been flashed successfully we can go back uh, go to wipe format data and then type in yes this will result in wiping out all your data once the format data is successful we can click on reboot system So the booting is gonna cost you some time so now let's do the initial setup and the ROM looks pretty good and let, let, that's in 120 hertz and the ROM is pretty smooth And that's the Android 13. Oh, that's nice. And the kernel version is the stock kernel, which is the Linux perf. Now let's check on the widgets. Here we have some good widgets. Oh, first, we have to open the themes app and now add to home screen. Now the widgets are super cool. And there are no Chinese widgets, which is nice. We have so many cool widgets. Now let's check the camera app. We have the Lycia Vibrant, that's nice. And in videos we have... Oh, the 4K 60fps is grayed out, I don't know why. And we have 4K 30, 1080p 30 and 720p 30. I don't know why the 60 FPS isn't available. And we have a lot more in the more option. We have the screen time, that's nice. And well, let's run a Geekbench 6 test on this device. So here are the results and that's fine. We have a single core of 983 and a multi core of 2707. That's pretty good and let's go ahead and do the CPU throttling test. So well, that's a nice graph of 80% with stable and this, that's, a, that's a stable 80% and that's nice. At the starting we were reaching 100% to 90% that's also nice. So that's all for this video. If this video helped you on how to install this ROM, please like, share and subscribe. Bye.